So that is a big jump from 24% to 27% of the sales were new construction and that new construction was more expensive. Now let's talk about why this is happening and you know, you might want to be aware of this. What's going on guys, JP Bowers here. It's that time of the month again where we review the market stats for Northeast Florida for the previous month. So we're looking at November and um, I want to start with the most important stat, which is the median sales price. How does this happen in November from November to October? How does the median sales price increase 4.4%? So in October it was 350K and in November it was 365K. What? That's weird. That really doesn't happen in the fall into the winter. Normally prices decline. Um, so how does that happen? We're going to, we're going to get to that in a minute, but I kind of want to review some of these other stats and then we'll, we'll come back to this one. Um, median price per square foot just up slightly. I think it was 205, uh, per square foot in October and November 206, uh, closed sales. Boo -hoo -hoo. Realtors are crying everywhere because it is a slow market, man. We're not doing so much business. It's really slowed down. Look at that. Almost 17% down month over month and 11% uh, year over year. So pretty slow. High home prices and um, high interest rates, making it pretty uh, difficult to buy a home these days um, unless you really, really, really have to or you can afford to buy new construction. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Active inventory, love those numbers, love to see green on both sides. Month over month, it's up and year over year, it's up. That means that there is more inventory on the market. That's been one of the problems with this market right now is not enough inventory, but that is slowly building. So that's a good thing. Sadly, when we go over to new listings, I don't like to see that. 7% um, less in November, new listings. That means in November, people were not, you know, putting their homes on the market. Now, hopefully, you know, we've had, uh, I think, seven straight weeks of interest rate drops. So as those, as the interest rate continues to drop, and let's hope that it does, cross your fingers, um, it's almost back under six. I think that some people are going to make the jump to list their house. They're going to say, okay, hey, at least it's not eight, at least it's not seven. We're in the sixes. Let's go ahead and list our home and, and see if we can buy something else. Um, that, that fits us better. Because a lot of people are in that situation right now. They don't really want to trade that great interest rate they have. As it creeps down, this number will get back up, which is good for everybody. More people will put their house on the market. Median days on market, 42 in November. It was 40 in October. Not, not you know, nothing groundbreaking there. Not, not uh, too big of a difference. Okay, let's go back to median sales price and talk about this for a little bit. Um, this really shocked me. It surprised me when, I, when these stats came out. Um, cause this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting the month over month to be down from October to November and really the next month through December, through January, February might start to turn around and, and, and head back up right now. The, the changing interest rates are also going to have an effect on that. But right now interest rates have been dropping slowly, slowly, uh, slowly, but surely. So how does this happen? I dug into the stats a little bit. I had a, a uh, feeling that it might be due to new construction. And um, that is indeed what I found. So, you know, new construction, is it more expensive than resale or less? It's more expensive, right? So the more new construction homes that make up the closed sales, the higher that median price is going to go. So I did a little research. The Median sales price of new construction, I'll give you a second to guess. What do you think it is? If, if 365 is overall, what do you think it is for new construction? 385. So 20K more on average than the overall, okay? So 385K was the median price for new construction compared to 365, okay? And that is up 5,000 from October. In October, the median price for new construction was 380. So they're charging a little, a little bit more. And I and they can, they can do that. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why in a second here. So number one, the the price of new construction is going higher. OK, 
okay, a little bit higher. And the other reason is that it's making up a higher percentage of those closed sales. Only 1,800 closed sales in November. Do you know how many closed sales there were in, in October? 2,239. Okay, so in October, there were 545 new construction sales out of 2,239. That is 24% of the closed sales in October were new construction. 24%. That's already pretty high. That is already pretty high. Okay. And in November, we jumped up from 24% to 27.4% of closed sales being new construction. So 494 homes were closed that were new construction out of 1,800. So that is a big jump from 24% to 27% of the sales were new construction and that new construction was more expensive. Now let's talk about why this is happening and you know, you might want to be aware of this. The, the challenges that are in the market right now are affordability because prices are high, but mostly because interest rates are high. They're making that, that monthly payment just, just the bank breaker, man. I mean, Mortgages, $3,000, $4,500, $5,000, $6,000, $7,000, $8,000, $9,000 a month. Golly, are you kidding me? Man, that's a lot of money. You know, people are paying 40%, 50% of their income. You know, talk about being house poor. Um, so that's a big issue right now. So what's happening is <clears throat> because there's people do not really like a lot of their resale options and inventory is low, they're turning to new construction because they don't like what's on the market and they like these bright new sh shiny homes even though they cost a little bit more money right so that's that's one side of the coin the other side of the coin is these builders are very savvy very smart and they've got lots of resources um, to to help and people buy homes they have incentives and man they are offering some pretty hefty incentives these days they're doing two one buy downs to get the interest rate lower. Um, I've seen, you know, th they'll they'll fix the rate and buy it down for 30 years. I've seen interest rates in the fours for 30 years. That's pretty insane difference. So they're offering a ton of cash to buy down the rate. And you know, your average private seller doesn't have enough equity in their home to be able to buy down the rate that low. Um, so that's, that's one thing that these buyers, um, these builders are doing and, um, Hey, guess what? They can afford to, uh, raise the, the purchase price just a little bit. Make sure to keep that high because they've got the buyers and they've got the demand now coming down because people want that, that, that monthly payment lower and you can, you can raise the price five or 10, 10 K, but, uh, you know, and not affect the monthly payment that much if you buy down that rate a lot. So keep that in mind. Um, if you are a buyer, if you know somebody who's looking right now and they're struggling with affordability, um, sometimes it can be worth it to pay 10, 15, 20 grand more on the purchase price if you are able to reduce your monthly payment, right, to something that's affordable, to go from the average rate right now, which is like 7.09 to a 4.99 over 30 years. Are you kidding me? I mean, that is a major savings every month and basically it's a deal maker. Anyways, hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for coming by. Uh, feel free to like this, um, subscribe to my channel, share this with other people. Um, my name is JP Bowers. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm here to help you guys out. Thanks and have a great day.